Hi guys, this is Chris. I'm back for another video with Free Range Phoenix. This time I want to talk to you about social media. Um, there's one simple piece of advice here. Don't go looking. Now, I'm, I understand you're in, you're in pain and you want to do something about that. You want to get a salve, you want to get some medication, the people that you are missing, you think, you feel, you fe you're acting based on how you feel. You feel that the answer is to speak to them. You wish they would be in touch with you. They wish, you wish they would give you what you want for them to be nice to you. That is not going to happen. You cannot get that from them. And every time you see something new, so far you're dealing with all the stuff you've already accumulated, all your memories, feelings, everything is based on what's already happened. That is a finite thing you can work on, your memories and your fantasy. They're limited by what you've already, what's already happened to you. If you start adding new things, you are getting a hit. You're getting a hit of the drug that you need to avoid in order to get healthy and happy again. So don't go looking. Do not look on their social media. You don't want. You don't want to. You don't want to have. You don't want to see a new post. Even if it's because, trust me. I know because I have done this. Even if you see something that is not painful, you don't have to see them with somebody new, you don't have to see them living their best life. Just seeing something new will set you back in your recovery. Just seeing them doing ordinary things that you are not a part of will hurt you. And it will keep you thinking about them. It will keep you asking new questions about what's happening with them. So don't do it. Don't go looking. The only way to heal is to shut down your supply. Block them. Delete them in every way you can. In terms of brain chemistry, you are an addict right now. You're addicted. You must cut off, you must assume that you are going to want some more. You must assume that you're going to have a relapse. So assume that you are going to be resourceful. Don't have, their, don't have any root to their number. You can only, I mean, you can only block and delete on social media, as far as I know. I wish that there was an app for narcissists in the same way that you have those apps like, um, I can't remember that, it's like a site blocker. So for instance, this year I decided I didn't want to eat so much takeaway pizza. So I set up an app to not let me go to dominoes.co.uk or papajohns.co.uk or pizzahut.co.uk on my phone or my tablet. I go to that website and I get a picture of an old lady saying nice try or something like that. How it would be a good idea to, I don't know, I can't do, I don't have the expertise to do this. Somebody make an app where if you Google or search on social media for your narcissist, it will say, ah, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. It's much less healthy than a big old Domino's. So don't do it. Um, that's it for this video. Just stay strong. Do not go looking. Unless, I mean, be careful not to make excuses to have something saved, something you can, you think you might want to be in touch with them in future. Get rid of all that. It's not going to help you. Block delete, focus on your recovery, focus on healing, okay? 
That's it for this video. Please like the video, comment if you like the content, um, and uh, subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this. Um, this is something I think is important. The next video is also going to be on social media. So um, I hope you'll come back and thanks for listening. Speak to you soon.